Hello doctors, nurses and other medical professionals. This is Alex from Swoosh English and today I'm going to be talking about what you should do as the very first thing in the OET speaking role play. Remember you've got two role plays that you are involved in, whether you're a nurse or a doctor or another medical professional, you will then have a role play with an interlocutor who is a trained English teacher. They will play the role of a patient or a carer. So what is the very first thing that you should do? Well, I'm going to put it into three points to make it easy for you, okay? And science, uh, researchers say that if you put it into three points, it's more memorable. So I'm going to put it into those points. And the first thing that you should do is greet the patient, okay? Greet the patient. So you could say, for example, hello, my name is Dr. Smith. Is it Alex? Okay, or is it Daniel? Or is it Rebecca? Or is it Rachel? Hi, my, um, and then you say, uh, you say, okay, okay, great. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, nice to, uh, thanks for coming in today. Okay, so you want to give them that welcome, that kind of, that, that feeling of ease that they're in the right place. So you say, thanks for coming in today. I, I see that you're, you're coming in because you've been recently diagnosed with asthma. Is that right? And then you go into your bullet points and you're going into each one step by step. Of course, you don't need to follow each bullet point, you know, in in the correct order because the conversation can go in different ways. You know, you could be in this direction, could go in that direction. So you don't need to follow it step uh, step by step, you know, in, in chronological order, but you can go back to them, but try and get through as many bullet points as possible. Uh, so basically the three things, greet the patient, uh, tell them why they're seeing you today. You know, like I said, it's been uh, Alex's or Rachel or whoever, Rebecca has been recently diagnosed with, with asthma and then start to go through the three bullet points and provide some structure to your conversation, to your role play. It's really important you don't go all over the place. You know, do your greeting at the end or discuss why you're why they're seeing you, you know, in the middle of the role play. It just seems a bit strange. But really, those three things will set a foundation as to what goes on forward. And, and really to get that patient on that journey from feeling anxious, scared, worried, depressed, however they might be feeling right now about themselves or their loved ones, and taking them to that feeling of, you know, reassurance, that feeling of, ah, or that, you know, that feeling of, I, I know where this is going. And at the end of my consultation with this doctor or nurse or medical professional, I know what I need to do next. And I have some, I have, some, I have more ease. I'm, I'm a bit more relaxed about the situation. Not necessarily always relaxed because, you know, there could be some really, you know, really serious condition, but at least you know what you, what they, you know, at least they know what they need to do next. So you've taken them on that journey. And those three things to start with, will help to provide a strong role play performance from you. So like I said, in summary, greet the patient. Of, of course, tell them who you are as well. It's really, really important. Some people don't do that, no matter how many times I do role plays. Then the next thing is, is to tell them why they're seeing you today. You know, you've looked at their notes and you can see they've been recently diagnosed with, with asthma. Uh, and make and make sure they feel at ease as well. They feel welcome. So I said thanks for thanks for coming in to see me today. That again, something simple like that. You don't need to make it too long. And then the last thing, number three, is go through the bullet points. Okay. Try to cover all those bullet points because your ability to 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 fulfill the task is what's going to contribute towards your marks. So I, I hope that this video has been helpful, beneficial to you today in your OET speaking preparation. We've got more OET free videos on our website. We've actually got an OET 2.0 video course, completely free on our website. Go to swooshenglish.com. If you've got any questions on today's video, just put them in the message box below and make sure you share this video with friends, family, colleagues, who are currently preparing for the OET and fingers crossed for you. I hope your preparations go well. You can also go to swooshenglish.com and if you want to look into our paid courses, we'd love to help you. We've got a six, over 60% pass rate right now with our doctors and nurses who are taking it first time, not five times, first time. So I'd love for you to be the next one.